the product configurator for Acumetica ERP gives merchants a dynamic solution to merchandising by enabling users to build configurable, bundled, grouped, downloadable, and virtual products, offering a variety of options to customers. Let's walk through the building of these products using the product configurator. Configurable products provide a fast and easy way to build a parent product with multiple child products beneath it using the attributes associated to the item class of the product being built. First, let's navigate to the composite stock item screen. Once the product configurator package is published, your composite stock item screen will now be available for use. Clicking on the plus icon will allow us to create a new composite stock item. Let's build this product, a t-shirt, using the configurable product item type and the apparel item class for the apparel attributes. Clicking on the configurable product tab, we'll be able to see the attributes we can build products with. Click the modify attribute settings button. From here, we can select the attributes we'd like to build our products with. Here, we're selecting the color attribute for black, blue, and red, and now we'll select shirt size. We'll select small, medium, and large. We'll also go to shirt type and select the t-shirt attribute to enable all the t-shirts for building. We'll click apply and our products have been generated. Let's say the retailer only wants to create small shirt sizes as simple stock items. Clicking on the boxes next to the small shirts and then clicking create child items underneath the actions tab will allow us to create existing stock items with the attribute values we've selected. The box in the existing column has now been toggled next to the child items we've created as simple stock items. Clicking on an item and then clicking view stock item will open a new window with the stock item we just created and the attribute set has been populated accordingly. On the sales order screen, let's add the composite inventory ID of t-shirt to our order. When we do this, the composite item configuration lookup will appear. We can select the attribute values, in this case we'll select black, and here we can see all the possible combinations of our configurable product that we built that can now be added to our order. Bundle products allow merchants to create bundled options for items that customers can build themselves and customize. Let's build this computer bundle. We've entered in the composite inventory ideas computer bundle and select the composite item type as bundle product. Navigate to the bundle tab to start building the bundle. In the bundle product tab, we'll create a new defined option. We'll say computer. From here, we can adjust the settings, if the item is mandatory, and how many are allowed for the customer to select from. There, we can start mapping stock items to this option. Here, we'll add three different types of computers that our customer will be able to choose from when they're building their bundle. We'll repeat this step for the monitor, the keyboard, and the mouse. When all of these items have been selected, we can save our item and start using it as a stock item. To use bundles as a stock item, we can go to our sales order screen and add in the composite inventory ID for the bundle we just created. In doing so, the composite item configuration lookup screen will appear. Now, we can select the options for each of the defined options we made within our bundle tab. Here we've selected a computer, mouse, keyboard, and monitor. The price has all been added up for us, and when we click Add and Close, all items have been added to the sales order. Group products give merchants the power to create stock items that are similar in functionality to a single stock item. It's a simple way to group items that are complementary to one another together in one stock item, almost like a kit. We'll start by building this deluxe computer kit within the composite stock item screen. We've selected the composite item type as group product, and now we can navigate to the group product tab. We'll navigate to the group tab of this deluxe computer bundle and we'll start adding the one terabyte computer, the wireless mouse, the wireless keyboard, and the biggest monitor. When we have all our options added, we can click save and our grouped item will now be able to be used on stock items for customers. On the sales order screen, we'll add the composite inventory ID onto our sales order. In doing so, our configurable product lookup pop-up will now appear. We can see all the items in our group product that are now going to be added onto the sales order. 
Clicking Add and Close will confirm this choice, and all items will now be added. If a merchant is carrying products that can be downloaded by a customer, downloadable products can be utilized to store this information as well as the product that's being downloaded. If we're building tax software within the composite stock item screen, we can enter this as a downloadable product and then go over into our downloadable product tab. We can map an existing inventory item to this product or we can attach a file that will be downloaded by the customer in a unique email. Virtual products work for services such as labor and insurance. These can be added as composite non-stock items in order to be sold within a merchant's store. In the inventory workspace, we'll click on the composite non-stock item tab. We can click on the plus icon and create a new composite stock item. We'll say this is going to be for one hour of labor, and we'll add this in our description and at our composite inventory ID. We also want to toggle on the composite item type as virtual product. Once we click save, we're able to sell this product, and we can also attach files and map existing inventory to the product. The product configurator for Acumatica ERP elevates your product management and creation processes, saving you time and giving your customers an enhanced e-commerce experience.